All right, guys, before we jump into the video, I just want to show you one thing. I've been putting out between 5 and 12 videos a week, so if you don't want to miss any videos, make sure you click that subscribe button, make sure you click that little bell, and then send me all notifications. That's all you got to do, and then you'll see all the videos that I release. Hey, guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So in today's video, I want to give you the five best things that you can do in your free time. These are things that I highly recommend that you do when you're bored. Now, before I get into the five best things to do in your free time, I just want to explain to you why I want to shoot this video. We live in a world now that so many things are done for us. So many things are done faster. We can skip lines. We can get food delivered to us in 30 minutes or less. We can do grocery shopping online. And if that's not enough, we can skip commercials. We can use Netflix and Hulu. We do not have to watch a commercial ever again in our entire life. So what that tells us is that we should have more time. If we have more time, we should be more efficient. We should get more stuff done in the same 24 hours that we have, but we don't. Why is that? Most people spend a lot of their time sitting in front of the TV, sitting in front of the computer, you know, pulling out their phone and checking Facebook and Instagram and seeing what their friends are doing. What your friends and your family are doing does not impact you at all. What you need to understand is you can be more efficient, you can be more successful, you can make more money, but you need to decide what you wanna do. So these five things are the things that I recommend you do in your free time. So let's get started. Number one, exercise you hear this all the time but do we exercise on a daily basis no we don't why is that because we think there's something else that's more important whether it's a tv show we need to watch whether it's we have to go to this family member's birthday party or we need to clean the car whatever it is you are putting exercise off but by putting off your exercise by gaining weight you're actually losing your energy by losing your energy, you're getting less done. I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but by spending more time at the gym, more time actually exercising, you will actually have more time to do what you want, when you wanna do it, and you will have the energy to back yourself. So if you're not exercising, I highly recommend you get started with that right now. The second thing is to focus on your passion. What are you passionate about? What do you like to do? And the reason I say this is because I like to work, I like to you know do certain things with my friends and family as well, but I always go back to my passion. What is my passion? I like sports, I like being outdoors, I like to travel, things like that. That's what motivates me, but at the same time, that's what you should be doing. Let's say your passion is football. You just like to get out there and throw the football with friends and family, your kids. Maybe you like to watch football. If that's what you like to do, do it. I'm not saying you need to be 100% efficient at doing whatever you need to do, but if what you like to do is sit down and watch TV, watch a football game or two, do it. You need to utilize your free time to do what you want to do with it. I'm not saying you need to give up all the stuff that you like just to have you know, be more efficient during your free time, but what you need to do is utilize your free time better. So if your passion is to paint or to color or to uh, do you know crochet something or make a sweater, do it. You need to have that mix of what's fun, your business, your what's paying the bills. Okay, you need to have that mix. If you don't have that mix and it's just a little too lopsided on you're working too hard or you're maybe you're doing a little too much of your passion, you need to have that mix. It needs to be pretty balanced. That will give you a little bit more time in the end. That will make you more efficient and that will make you happier. One of the things that I like to do in my free time is read. Now, whether it's actually reading or I'm listening to an audio book, it doesn't matter. I like to consume some type of knowledge. All the books that I read or listen to are gonna be self-help. They're gonna teach me something. They're gonna be some type of self-development book. The reason why I recommend these is because not only are you actually you know, learning, you're learning new words, you're, you're expanding your vocabulary, you're learning something new. The books that I read, you know, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee, uh, Napoleon Hill, whoever it is, these are books that I'm going to learn from. I'm going to take this information that they're teaching me, I'm going to consume it, I'm going to remember it, and then I will put it to use at some point. So. Reading is a very valuable skill most people don't do enough of. So studies show that an average person reads about one book a year. Okay, that's average person. A millionaire reads every single night. It doesn't matter what they read, whether it's a book, it's a magazine, it's a Wall Street Journal, it's a TV guide, it doesn't matter. They will read. Why? Because they know the value behind it. So if you wanna be more efficient, you wanna be more effective and more successful, 
you should read. Number four is to clean. I know you're thinking, why would I want to clean? Cleaning is not free time. Cleaning is cleaning. No, cleaning can be free time. Let me explain. So what most people do is they come home from grocery shopping and they take all their groceries and throw it on the kitchen table or throw it on the counter. A lot of things they will leave there. They'll leave donuts and just their snacks and all that stuff. They'll grab the, the mail from outside and they'll throw it on the counter as well. They'll leave it there. Their keys will be on the counter. Everything is on the counter. What you need to do is clean that counter. You don't want it to be messy. You don't want it to be unorganized. When I say clean, I'm talking about it needs to be actually clean, no dust. It needs to be organized. No just bunch of you know junk and crap sitting on the counter, sitting over on the couch, or maybe on your desk or inside your car. You don't want that. What you want is to be very organized. When you are organized and when everything is clean, you will be more efficient. You will be more effective. You will have a clearer state of mind. This is what I highly recommend. One of the biggest mistakes I ever made when I first started getting into working for myself and working online is my desk always had papers on it. It was always full of just crap. And then one day I decided, I'm just getting rid of all that stuff. Threw it all away. Didn't care what it was, it was in the garbage. The reason why I did this is because once you clear all that stuff away, clear away all that clutter, it frees up your mind. It makes things easier to see, easier to focus. So if that's what you want, then you need to be organized. You need to have things that are clean. I know this isn't actually free time, but when you're cleaning, you can make it fun. It can go very quickly. So when you have a little bit of free time, a little bit of downtime, maybe five, 10 minutes, go organize something, whether it's your closet, it's your car, it's you know a room in your house, your office, whatever it is, stay organized. You will be more efficient and you will be more successful. Number five, and probably one of the most important things that you need to do in your free time is to rest. Don't turn on the TV, don't grab a book, just sit there and meditate. Just sit there and think. I know you're probably thinking, why would I rest in the middle of the day or in the morning or in the evening when I'm gonna be going to sleep in the next couple hours? Why would I do that? The reason I highly recommend you rest in the middle of the day when you have a little bit of free time is because you will be more energized after you are done. You sit there, you meditate, you think. What do I need to do next? And now, once you get up, after your five or 10 minutes of free time is done, now you can think, okay, this is what I was gonna do, and you just jump onto it. You don't have to then think, okay, you know, I just got done sitting there watching TV, but I should've been thinking about what I'm gonna be doing next. You already did that. Now, all you gotta do is put it into action. Even though this isn't the most important thing to do is rest, you could always mix in reading, or you know, working on your passion, working on your business, or maybe it's just you're gonna go exercise or something like that. That's perfectly fine, but there will come a point in time in your life throughout your days where you just wanna sit back and rest, relax. Do that. Don't turn on the TV, put your phone down, don't pick up a book, just sit there, think about what it is you should be doing, what it is you're gonna do next. Have a clear vision of that because once you have a clearer and clearer vision of what you need to do next, it will become much easier to actually accomplish. So that is my list of the five best things to do in your free time and what I highly recommend you do when you're bored. If you guys have any questions or you want to add to this list, please put them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to read them. I'd love to hear exactly what you have to say. Make sure you smash that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video.